Hey, what's up? It's Ryan Oakley here from photographyontheside.com, and this is the free online course Create a Gorgeous Photography Website with SmugMug in 90 Minutes. In this step, we're going to customize the look and feel of our new SmugMug site. So let's start by going into Customize and Customize Site. And make sure you're uh, in the entire site um, you know that's highlighted here so that we're customizing the entire site. Um, go to Theme and uh, there's a bunch of different themes here um, that are default and what a theme will do is like it'll lay different uh, um, fonts and different colors um, different backgrounds based on these different themes. You can play around with this. Um, I've decided to just again keep things simple. I'm going to adjust the Ludwig theme. theme. You might actually like this uh, dark charcoal kind of color. Um, I, I definitely like the fonts. It's one of the reasons why I chose the Lud Ludwig uh, design because I like the fonts. I don't have to change those. Actually I'm not changing the fonts at all on this site. Um, but I do want to change the color to white um, and the reason I want to do that is um, because I'm mimicking a portrait wedding photography site, I definitely find that a white background, it's simple, it's clean, it's inviting, um, it just looks professional. Um, you know, if it's good enough for Apple, it's good enough for me. So make sure you're under the theme tab. Under Ludwig, you'll see a wrench pop up and uh, go ahead and click on that wrench. And this is where you can uh, make changes to your theme. Um, I want to make some sort of name, clan. Clark Kent theme um, because I'm making a change to the default theme it's going to want me to name it so name it something so that you can always come back to it the primary color is going to be white boom and click OK for that text color I'm going to leave that as it is the accent color uh, I'm actually going to make this a blue and the accent color changes things like um, um, the buy now shopping cart uh, button on your site which I want it uh, to stick out. It also changes the colors of your links. Um, so instead of, uh, you know, gray, it's going to be hard for people to tell that that's a hyperlink. I'm going to change it to a nice bright color. Um, in this case, I'm going to change it to a color blue. I just happen to know the code of this color. It's 1963AA. And there's my blue. You can also use this uh, color picker um, to find the color that you like but I'm going to go with this blue, so I think it looks good. And this is where you change the fonts. Um, again, I, I like the font, so I'm going to leave that as it is, um, but you might want to change them. In the background, you can set a background photo and background color. Um, I'm leaving things white, um, and in fact, the header you can see is still this uh, dark gray. I'm going to go and change that to white as well, and click OK. I believe everything else in this section I can leave. And in advanced is where you would do, um, you know, really fancy CSS stuff, which um, thankfully we don't have to get into. <laughs> so I'm going to click done on that. And so you can already tell that the site is starting to look uh, a lot more like our finished product, which is which is this here. So I'm going to go back to our site um, layout. There is definitely some options in here to play around with. Um, I believe I'm going to leave all of this the same as it is right now. Okay, so now I want to change the home page. So in the entire site, um, all the changes that we made to the theme are going to be applied to every page. Um, if I was under home page and I changed the theme and the colors, it would only affect the home page. So when you're changing like your site colors and stuff, if you want the changes to apply to every page in your site, you definitely want to make sure that you're on that, you know, you're highlighted on the entire site. Um, okay, so now that I'm in home page, I want to go to the content tab. And by default with the Ludwig design, um, it's, um, it's got this kind of photo grid view of the recent photos. Well, I don't really want that, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it, and I'm going to replace it with something. So these are called content blocks. I'm going to remove this particular content block, and now there's nothing there. Uh, and it says over here in the content tab, uh, what block uh, do I want to add? I can add photos and um, videos and d design elements and text and uh, all sorts of different things. I want to uh, go under photo, and I want to find this slideshow, and I can just 
uh, left click on that and drag it and then you can see it'll highlight green the different possible spots that I can have this uh, slideshow. So I'll just make sure that it's uh, I highlight the green section underneath the, um, the header and the slideshow options will automatically come up. It's asking me what uh, photos I want to use for um, the slideshow. I'm going to use a particular gallery. I'm going to choose the gallery and that gallery is going to be my portfolio which makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and click done. The height is going to be left at auto. My, my uh, height ratio is going to be left at four thirds. These are all things you can play around with on your site. Um, but one of the things that I really like about um, this slideshow is how it fills up the whole screen no matter what browser size is uh, the slideshow being looked at. I think that is just awesome. That's a, that's a new feature that I really, really like. So whether it's an iPhone, an iPad, an, a laptop, a 22-inch monitor, a 27-inch monitor, um, this slideshow is going to look really good. It's going to look the right size. So I'm really happy about that. Um, content aware height. Uh, what is this? Fits the slideshow in the window, even if there is other content above it on the page. Okay, I guess leave that on. <laughs> um, title alignment. I don't have a title for my slideshow, so I don't have to worry about that. Playback. I want it to auto start. I want the speed. Three seconds is fine. Fade is fine. Uh, transition speed I find is good. A splash image. This is kind of optional but you can go ahead and, and click on this, go into your portfolio, and basically you can pick a per one uh, image that you want the, um, the slideshow to start on and it'll kind of populate that image before moving into the slideshow. So I'm, I'll pick this guy right here. I like that, I like that uh, image, it's fun, it's happy. So I'll do that. And I'm gonna turn the captions off. Even though I don't have captions on my images right now, if you did and left them on, it might be good, might not be good. I want to keep this slideshow really clean, so I'm going to turn that off. And in the name of keeping things clean, when I go into the control um, tab, I actually want to turn off um, the arrows, which you can see on the left and on the right over here. Those are on. I'm going to turn them off. I'm going to turn my play button, which is in the bottom left. I'm going to turn that off. And I'm going to turn off my full screen button. The reason I'm doing this on my home page is the slideshow isn't um, the destination that I want my visitors to stay on. I don't want them to be just mes mesmerized by the slideshow and that's it. Um, I want them to see the slideshow but then take action somewhere else. Um, so going back into our main site, the action that I want them to take would be, you know, they can scroll down and read this nice testimonial here, um, which leads them down to this nice blue link which says happy customers. And if they click on that, um, they're taken to my work with me page where they can find out more about my photography. They can find out about you know what services I offer and then a bunch of um, nice testimonials from happy customers. That's what I want people to, to see because that's what's hopefully going to lead to them giving me a call or sending me an email asking um, to, uh, to hire me. Um, the other thing that uh, the other actions that I would want them to take would be to actually go look at the portfolio gallery itself in all of its glory. Um, if it's an existing client, to be able to easily get to their client galleries and to contact me, and and uh, also you know they can they know that they can find me on Facebook or Twitter or these other places. So that's the goal. The goal isn't to just look at this slideshow. The slideshow is just a, supposed to captivate them coming into the site. So that's why I've turned all of these um, controls off. So I'll click done for that. And our slideshow is now done. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and add another block, which will be the text block, which will go underneath this um, slideshow. So I go find the text, and I go drag and drop the text down here. And I, I see the green um, box right there. So I'm just going to copy the text over from my live site and see how that works. So I'll highlight that. I'm going to go copy and then uh, Command V to paste it. Um, it's just kind of copying it all at the default text. Um, first thing we want to do, or I want to do, is to center this. I think I've done that. There we go. Um, this section um, I want really big. I'm going to make that as a 32 font. 
and the rest of this can stay small. This, I've got to remember to come back to this uh, text and add a hyperlink um, to the work with me page, which we haven't created yet. Um, so maybe I'll just add a placeholder here, add hyperlink as a reminder so that when I see the live page later, I'll know, oh yeah, I've got to add that hyperlink. <laughs> so I'm going to go uh, click done on that. And, uh, and there it shows up uh, just fine. Now I want to change um, the header section. I like things, I want things all centered and, and, and stacked. So if I go to the plus button here to, to expand this, anything done in the header section or the footer section needs to be done under the entire site. So I'm going to click on that and um, I'm going to move, oh, there we go, I'm going to move things around. So um, I use this uh, moving icon and that will allow me to place things above. Now you kind of got to work slowly because there's different areas that this could go. I want it above my uh, menu bar so that's, I'm going to move it there. It's not centered yet or anything so that's why it's all um, um, not uh, lined up properly. The other thing I want my social icons to be up top. So to center the Clark Kent I just simply go into the options and I believe this is where I do this. So alignment and I can go center. There we go that worked. And again this is in the um, in the logo section I'm just using text. Um, I I like this font. I like the size of the font. Obviously all of that can be changed. The color can be changed, things like that. Um, and you can also, if you've got your own uh, logo and an image you want to use, you just click over here to image and you go, you know, add that. My recommendation for an image, especially for the site that we've got set up, um, to keep it thin. Um, if you have a really large logo, and and you place that in here it'll push the the whole site down which means the slideshow will go get squished down um, the client gallery photos will get slished uh, squished down I'm trying to do as much as I can um, in a small space in this header section so that um, it still looks good and looks clean but also it's not taking up too much space on the web page that uh, the photos are all getting kind of squished. So that's just something to keep in mind and one of the reasons why I like just the plain text here. It does the job. People know when they come to my site it's Clark Kent Photography and that's good. So, um, But obviously you might have a logo that has a good brand and all the rest of it. Um, so that looks uh, really good. Staying in the header section here, I want to make sure that um, I go into the dimensions um, option and use the dimensions that I want to use for um, the spacing between um, this content block. So the spacing between the, the um, social, social media icons and the, and the title. Um, this is getting a little bit particular, but, um, whoops, um, but it's just playing around and, and I just want to show you what this looks like when you do play around with it and show you how easy it is to, to adjust this stuff. In the old Smug Mug site, you used to have to do um, um, go into the CSS and the advanced customization to do all this stuff. Now it's it's really easy. Um, so top margin is 12, um, bottom and left. And one thing you'll notice here is the uh, the right margin being 24 and the left margin being 12. It's actually not centered perfectly. So I, I want to make those both 12 and you can see it adjusted properly. And then I can go ahead and click done on that. I'm going to do the same thing with the um, with the logo um, block as well. So I'm going to go into dimensions and change this to 12. I'm going to change the bottom margin to 12 as well. Left margin to 12 and leave the right margin as it is. Click done there. And one more time I'm going to do this on uh, on the menu dimensions. Um, for this one I'm going to do some different numbers and basically it's just me playing around and trying to get things as I like them. So for the top margin I'm going to go with 5 and because I, I like the, um, the Clark Kent photography kind of more squished in with the, um, the menu options versus and keeping the um, so, social media icons a little bit separate. I don't know. It's just personal taste. Bottom margin I'm going to go to 12 and the right margin, I'm going to make sure 12 so that it's perfectly centered. And then I can go done there. 
Oh yeah, there we go. So now everything's centered and looks really good. Next, there are a few um, uh, specific changes that I want to make um, to make the site really look good um, um, on the other pages. So now I'm done the home page. I'm done the, um, you know, I think that looks really good. Everything uh, lines up really well. Go ahead and click on the all folders um, section here. And let's make a couple of changes to this particular page. So the all folders will be, um, uh, uh, when we go into the client gallery page, that's that's what this page is um, kind of changing. Um, I want to go ahead. I want to get rid of the the nav bar because I've got a really simple site. I don't really need this, um, or not the nav bar, but this is called a breadcrumbs, and I don't find that it's necessary. It um, you know the the navigation bar has everything that uh, any user is going to need to be able to find their way around. So I'm going to click on that and remove it. I'm also going to be changing. Um, the layout. Basically, I just think there's too much space between the the, um, the header section here and the content on the site. Um, so there's in the top margin there's 48 pixels. I'm just simply going to change that to 30 to again bring all the content, uh, the main content, up closer to the header section. I think that looks really good. Uh, and then I'm going to do something similar with the all galleries um, section. So. So again, you've got this um, breadcrumb, which I think just takes up too much space and it's not uh, really all that necessary. So I'm going to remove that block, go ahead and remove it. It brings the gallery content up, but I want to bring it up even further. So I'm going to go into my, my margins and I'm going to bring that to 30 as well to be consistent with uh, the other page. Um, so that's pretty much it for customizing our site. You can go ahead and click done and publish now and that'll be the end of this step. In the next step we're going to create the work with me page. We're going to add that uh, link and that page to our menu bar and we're also going to re remember to add a hyperlink to that page uh, down below our quote here and we're also going to add the contact me link and then I think we're done.